All right. I'm ready. You sure about this? Let's do this. Okay. Hmm. Nice try. Cool. What the hell? Why is my hand covered in chocolate? Do you have any idea how hard it is to get bullets in Australia? Hmm. Makes sense. Find me another one. Sure. Mmm. Delicious. Hey guys, welcome to Film Planet. The show did it again to learn you some filmmaking and learning you good. And holy crap, it's already February and we're on to our third episode of the year. Time sure flies when you're having no sleep. Right? Oh, yeah. Here's a request. FireSnakeX8 asked, could you do the effect where Zoom uses his super speed to catch all the bullets from The Flash Season 2 Episode 6? Indeed I can, old sport. In order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actors standing as still as they can while they move their one arm slowly and deliberately for however long they can do it for. I think I lasted about a minute or two. Trust me, it looks way better once you speed it up, but when you shoot it, it looks really, really stupid. So let's get to work. Okay guys, this is one super easy effect. In fact, it only has three steps. That's right, only three steps. As you can see, as always, I have my shots set up in a comp and ready to go. As I mentioned in the intro, it kinda looks stupid when you play it back at normal speed, but this is about the speed you need to make this effect work. Nice deliberate moves, keeping your facial expression still, and trying not to move anything apart from your arm. So step number one is, you guessed it, speeding up that footage. So let's right click our footage, head up to time and select time stretch. In the box here, we're going to drop that value from 100 all the way down to 5. This takes our over 1 minute clip and reduces it down to less than 4 seconds. So it's pretty fast. Let's hit OK and check out a preview. So I'm happy with that speed, but what I don't like is our new speed is not reflected with the requisite amount of motion blur on our arm. Which brings us to step number 2. Let's hit Ctrl D to duplicate our footage, head up, grab the pen tool and let's draw a chunky mask around our actor's head. We'll then feather that out around 100 pixels. Now, why are we doing this? Because when we add the motion blur effect, we don't want it to go all nuts and blur out our face as well. That would just look crappy and on film learning, we strive not to make crap. Okay, believe it or not, we are on to the last step, the motion blur. Now gang, if you don't have After Effects CC, you may not have the Pixel Motion Blur plugin. If that's the case, check out Real Smart Motion Blur and grab a demo since they're essentially the same sort of plugin. Another option is to use CC Force Motion Blur and just experiment with the same sort of settings. So, after that sidebar, let's head over to Presets and type Motion Blur. We'll grab Pixel Smart Motion Blur and drop it on our bottom footage layer. Now gang, before we start tweaking, let's bust the preview quality down to the dreaded quarter quality. Cause like it or not, we are pushing this plugin pretty extremely. And this unfortunately turns it into one hell of a render hog. Meaning it might be a 4 second clip, but this could take hours to render out. So to save time on previews, quarter helps out a great deal. Righto, that's done, let's tweak. Let's make sure the shutter control is set to manual, we'll then bump up the shutter angle to 500, the shutter samples to 30, and the vector detail to 60. If we preview a few frames, you can see we now have that ghosting blur that was on show when Zoom caught all of those bullets. In fact, I'll skip ahead a little bit in time and let's check out a preview. Nice. Now guys, if you want to add the Zoom Lightning, skip over to the Zoom Effect tutorial episode and download the pack. And if you want to know how I made the muzzle flash and shells ejecting from Doug's gun, just check out either the GoPro FPS effect or the Call of Duty FPS effect episodes. And that, my friends, is our 99th episode of Film Learning done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Alright. I'm ready. You sure about this? Let's do this. Okay. Nice try. Cool. What the hell? Why is my hand covered in chocolate? Do you have any idea how hard it is to get bullets in Australia? Hmm. Makes sense. Find me another one. Sure. 
Mmm, delicious. So that's zoom bullet catching, learn archer film style. As you can see, there's not a whole hell of a lot to this effect, and as long as you have the patience to film your actor moving that arm around for a while, you'll end up with a great result. But that's my time, gang. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and share it. If you're new here, catch that subscribe button. You know, next week is our 100th episode of Film Learned, so I thought since we have so many new subscribers, I might have a Q&A session to mark the occasion and do a behind the scenes featurette on how an episode of the show is made. So ask away gang, you can do it in the comments or on my Facebook or my Twitter. Just be sure and use the hashtag 100Q so I can find the questions. And until next week when Film Learned turns 100, keep learning.